I'm Ashley. Welcome to Mickey's Makeup Reviews. And you have reached me at Command Central. This is our editing area. We have a nice big desk. So half of it's mine, half of it's his. Well, technically most of it's his. But I do steal it from time to time to use my makeup or do my makeup when the sun is shining, as you can see in the background. My normal place is not great for when I want to do makeup during the evening. I'm finding new mosquito bites everywhere, you guys. I want to show you what we got today. It's super exciting. Look what we got, you guys. Look at this mic. Isn't it gorgeous? It is gorgeous. I cannot wait to start using that. We are actually going to switch to a real life camera and start editing and that's going to be fun. But for now, we're just going to stick to these easy videos um, that I do. I normally, oh my god, I just wish the ta they weren't on my tattoos. Jeez. So also, um, I'm going to give you a couple tricks today. Uh, one of them being cleaning your brush when you don't have brush cleanser. Very important. So, I don't have, br I didn't have brush cleanser today. Went to my makeup group. I only have one that I, um, that I'm on. Uh, shout out to Canadian Makeup Addicts. But, um, I asked them what to do, and they said, uh, Dawn dish soap, or baby soap. Now, I don't have a baby. I have no kids. But I do have dish soap, and I definitely have Dawn, because, uh, you know, protects wildlife, and the, do the proceeds go to wildlife. So I definitely have Dawn. So that is what I'm using to be cleaning my brushes after I use them today, because I ran out of brush cleaner earlier. So I don't think we'll be using that one, so we're going to be cleaning that one. So what I'm doing is I'm just swishing it around with some Dawn and tepid water. It's a little warm, not too warm. And then I'm drying it out by gently going back and forth, just like this, very gently, to get the color off. And we're clear. And then I'm placing it over here to dry and I will be drying them upside down once I'm finished. So I've been using my chamois palette all day. I'm going to keep using it because why not? 88 colors. So we're just going to stick with it today because you know how much I've been using the dupe palette. This amazing picture of our little Brucey, our little Brucey. So that's what Bruce looks like, uh, kind of. He's not so colorful. But he is 135 pound, actually he's 140 now, boxer bolt mastiff. He is literally heavy than I, heavier than I am. I love him to death. He is the biggest couch potato slash snuggle bug you'll ever meet. He is great. Everyone who likes dogs loves him. And I gotta be clear with that because here in Toronto, there's quite a few people that don't like dogs. It sucks because he's a sweetheart and all he wants is your love. But be, being a bully breed that he is, he definitely can sense when someone doesn't like him. So I haven't worked that out of him because I do take him for walks late at night and I don't want to be attacked. So I fell asleep, you guys, straight up. I was going to show you my suntan look, but actually right after I talked to you, I started to feel ill. And I figured out why. <sighs> Sorry to you guys. I figured out why. It's because I drank a a boost uh, in like you know like an insure too fast. And uh, god damn, I thought we had a commission for like two hours. I passed out. I always pass out during the day, but not like that. Okay, so just touching up my eyebrows here. And now we're going to decide what colors we're going to use. Yay! Let's go with green and purple. I know you, yeah, I used yellow and uh, green earlier. So we're going to do with green the background, purple the, the major color. One sec. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of the purples in this palette. Um, they are pretty, don't get me wrong. They're just, none of them are really poppy to me. And uh, I forgot to put primer on my eyelids. And of course, the one thing I forgot in the other room. 
instead of using primer, I'm going to use a touch of concealer. Now, I wanted to note, instead of using the Maybelline concealer, sorry, the high-end Maybelline concealer, I use, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin um, Concealer and Corrector. I did want to mention that. Let's get my nose again. I am definitely a fan of the higher end Maybelline. So that I'm not a fan of this, but it's not as nice. It doesn't work as well. Might just throw on some concealer so it sticks better. I already did conceal underneath. I don't look so tired because you know what? <laughs> it's uh, 7 o'clock at night. Okay. So again, this is the Chamois palette. Um, again, Amazon. This one was $27 for the 88 colors. The, um, the color sizes aren't as big as, you know, you'd like. But with so many colors, you really don't need big, uh, big portions. So this is the palette I should have brought up to my mother-in-law. She would have loved it. Oh, it's funny because my mom was allergic to makeup and I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until it was either given to me by a cousin after they got approval from my mom or if my friends got it for me. I didn't mean to go in my nose there. Oh, anyway, this color's pretty color, pretty uh, matching my expectations. Sorry if it's a little darker on this side. My light is like right in front of me, and you guys are off to the right. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's prettier than I thought it would be. Why does it always go out when I'm on with you guys? I don't the answer it's because I'm multitasking, but when I'm not on with you guys, it just burns away half the time. Oh, I'm using the wrong hand, guys. So sorry if I look beat up again, mosquito bites and bruise. I've entered a contest to try and win uh, $800 uh, $800 worth of tattoos to finish my owl for my mom. It's not done yet. And the guy who started it is in jail. So I win this contest, but I don't have to save up to get it done because that alone was $400. Actually, what am I saying? It was $250. He quoted me $400, but I paid two fifty for less than half, and I was gonna give him a bigger tip, but um, I never saw him again. So yeah, that's always great, right? This purple's really pretty. I'm gonna extend it up a little more. I want to put that green in there. Or do we? This purple's so pretty. Reminds me of my um, my profile picture right now, actually, on Facebook. When I had it. My hair blonde. And purple eyes. So I really like this purple. I don't know if I want to put another color on. Why? Why do colors have to be so pretty? I gotta extend it a little more up there. Ouch. I'm gonna have to get used to this table, too. So, it's so far away from me. I, it's actually better to me do it in the phone camera. Sorry, the phone reflection, I should say. Because I'm freaking blind. And the mirror's a foot away. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a green liner. A thick line. 
So I'm washing this brush now. It's its turn. So I have a plethora of different brushes I've collected over the years. My favorite so far is the unicorn one I just got from Wish. Again, I think it was about $16 for the set. It was a unicorn set. or It's a unicorn set. And um, they're really soft. I really like them. Okay, so we are going to do green as a liner. So I'm going to pick the lightest, or the, sorry, not the lightest, but the brightest green. Let's see how we do. Shit, I already fucked up. Well, you know you get real reactions out of me, right? So what I'm finding, it's just um, neutralizing the purple just a little bit. There we go. That's what I want. I did say I was going to do a thick line, so. Really? So there's no fallout really, but it it's my mistake when I'm using the brush. To, sometimes I tend to go overboard. So I'm going to use the green as an under eye eyeliner too. This is a look I would wear on a night out. Or, you know, just going to visit. I think it's super cute. And the green just makes the purple pop that much more. So we're going to go under our eyes. Remember guys, we want to be really, really careful. And go right under your under eyelid. Look at my nose. I'm going to fix my nose. So I'm really liking how this is looking. It's super cute. I'm going to back up a little. That doesn't help either. But I really do think it's cute. The green is popping. So there's a car show. If you hear talking, we always have a car show in the mall next door every Monday and Wednesdays. One's the Jeep show. One's bike show. I don't know. I forget. But it's annoying. I'm gonna play the suck. Man, I feel like a woman by Shania Twain. I swear I've heard it more than I've ever heard it in my life since moving here and in the summer. And we've been here for almost four years. And Celine Dion? I don't know why they play My Heart Will Go On at car rallies. Why do they do that? That's so silly. Are they like doing an in memoriam of a car or a person? I don't think so every week. Okay, I will soften that when I'm finished. God damn it. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to soften that up. So uh, I, the trick is getting the color on the end of the brush and making sure the brush is flat. So you guys always know I do one eye horrible, one eye perfect. Well, not perfect, but better. So this eye is definitely better today. So again, this is my chamois palette. Um, I know I said that twice now, but um, I really do like it, even though you don't see me using it that often. Oh my goodness. There we go. Let's soften that up just a little bit. Okay. So I really like that look. Now, guys, I feel like I didn't give the Milani uh, color a fair chance earlier. 
So I'm gonna try different something different. Because I don't if they don't think it's the lipstick or my lips, I do think it is the brush. This is my first time with the Milani color. This is a more matte by uh, Milani, um, higher end drugstore. So I put it on early, it actually felt sandy. So I don't know if that's the brush or the product. So now I'm gonna use my own brush and apply the product that way and see if that helps. Didn't get the table. Oh yeah. Much better, you guys. See, now I like it. It looks darker in the mirror than it does, or sorry, on the camera than it does in the mirror. Oh crap, I should have looked at the phone for that part. And I bet you any money I have some on my chin now. Oh no! I missed. Good. So I have very defined lips. Look at that. What a job. Oh, I like it so much more now. Note to self and to you, um, the Milani brushes suck. I don't know if it's just me, but using less product with one of your own brushes seems to really, really help out. Because I, I love this color now. And I didn't earlier today, if you remember. <coughs> I had to change it up. So again, I'm going to test it with our joints, see how much comes off. I don't think much is going to come off because it's already dried. I can feel it. Clean this side. I'll do an extra cleaning because I used liquid on it. Yeah, make sure if you're gonna use your li liquid on your uh, brushes, make sure you clean very well. Um, I'm actually getting one of those spinny things that uh, help a lot. So I'd say I'm definitely moving up in the skill set. I mean, the green eyes aren't perfect, um, I'm not saying they are, but uh, or the green isn't perfect on my eyes, but the purple's really pretty. I got that even. So I'm getting a little more, little more and more impressed with myself, you guys, every day. And that's why I like doing it, because I'm practicing and, you know, revealing products for you guys. So I do got to say this Dawn works quite well. I'm cleaning that wrong. I'm going to let that one soak. And that one needs to be done. Okay, so I'll clean these after I get off with you guys. But, is there anything else I want to try? I did my... I don't hold you. I did my, um, on my face earlier. So, let's run down what I used. BB NYC Cream 5-in-1 Instant Matte. That's what I used. Um, I believe I got it on sale on Wish for five dollars. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> <coughs> for contouring, Jackie and Lauren makeup sticks. There is. It comes in this pack of three. I got this at Winners. I forget how much. It was about six bucks, maybe five. For my concealer, I used Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it because I'm not tired. Oh, see, I knew I fucked up. Because I'm not tired at the moment. Oh, crap. That sucks. Because I'm not tired at the moment, it really doesn't matter what I use. This really sucks, you guys, but I'm going to try and do it very minimally. And then I'll just throw a little cover up. Where did you go, Bruce? No, it's just red because I rubbed on it. Oh no, that's some of our pictures of our of our. Uh, that's our screensaver. That's those are all ours. It's Bruce. 
Sorry, I'm just gonna go through it with you guys. Oh, I see a mistake. And then again, it's my left eye. I don't know what that is. Price tag for something. Our orchids and our frog tanks. Anyway, uh, I wanted to do something else. What was it? Uh, damn it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do over my eyes with the Tetris Times Ipsy color. It's called Block Party. I really like it. It's a nice um, color to highlight with. It's a very sandy, neutral sandy color. And I have no brushes left. No, I'm just joking. I have one left to use. But it's a small one, so bear with me. So I'm also gonna use this to blend in the purple. I always go down to where my eyebrow ends. So I just go over both to make the purple not look so blocky. So yeah, I really like that. Highlighter on top to the other eye. This is a 20 minute video and I Friggin' didn't even do my face. I guess I was talking a lot. So it is kind of a, a goldy color. Um, again, blending in with the purple. A little too much. It looks horrible on the camera, but it doesn't look that bad on the hair. That's even did out a little. Um, looks horrible on the camera, but it doesn't look too bad in the mirror. So, full face of makeup, except my VV cream. I'm taking a break from that to see what happens, except on my eyelids. So this is the Tetris Times Ipsy. I really liked it, or like it still. And, uh, I got that with, uh, from Ipsy. Um, you can order in the stiff room from the States. I am not Ipsy. Step your game up. Because I'd be ordering a lot more had you have things available for Canada. Now, next one I'm going to review, I promise, is my Orza, Orzia, Orzia from my Ipsy palette. The first Ipsy I got. I haven't actually used that one yet. It's a quad color, uh, nude shimmer, and contour eyeshadow. It's really pretty. All sandy colors, very beachy. Okay, we'll do that next time. And now we're going to do our mascara. Panda Dreams, Tony Molly. So, like I said, I'm going to be getting another mascara soon. Um, no by June is almost ending. So exciting. Um, ouch. Sorry, guys. Burn myself. No Why June is over by next weekend, so I'll be getting new mascara. And maybe I'll try another BB cream. So I'm not really super impressed with this BB cream. I mean, it's, it's very weightless. It does kind of <laughs> even up my skin. I try, you guys. I try. And, uh... It kind of evens out my skin, but when I take it off, it's like it's already gone. So, I see why it was on sale. And how I got it from Wish. So, I am dyeing my hair tonight. I promise not to take off my makeup. Okay. Brush out my hair. I'll be doing that pretty much immediately after I get off with you guys. And then I have to <laughs> take everything back out to the uh, living room because someone has to go to bed soon because they work early. But anyway, what's that? Oh, that's our, one of, that's our dart frog spoon. That is our niece. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in a couple hours after I dye my hair.